Caitlin Clark from the University of Iowa has put her thumbprint on women's college basketball in a way that nobody else in the history of the game has done. The way that she's brought attention to the women's game has been absolutely incredible, and I think it's well deserved. Now, if you've watched Caitlin play at all, you know that her logo threes are what separate her from everyone else. So I'm going to break down her game and show you why she's so great, but I'm also going to show you some of her tells and her weaknesses. Now, it all starts with her ability to shoot it from deep. Caitlin can comfortably shoot shoot it from 28 feet in rhythm and for context the NBA three-point line is at 23 feet 9 inches and if you think she's out there just jacking up shots let me show you her stats as a junior she shot 39% from three and made 3.7 of them a game and this year as a senior she's almost shooting 41% and is making over five a game and for context that's top 50 in the country for percentage and this is what makes Caitlin so hard to guard because she can shoot it from the logo People will routinely guard her all the way at half court like you see right here, which gives her all this space to be able to drive past her defender. This is why she's almost impossible to guard in the half court because you have to guard her everywhere. And you can't just worry about her because contrary to popular belief, she leads the country in assists. So before we look at the rest of her game, let me tell you about the sponsor for this video. Coaches, if you're looking for a new customizable board, then Hoops King is the place for you. Their website is easy to navigate and you can customize your board down to the most personal details. And having a two-sided feature will allow you to keep track of everything that you need to come game time. And you can select your line options. So whether you're in high school, college, or the NBA, there's a board just for you, which is one of the reasons the Los Angeles Lakers purchased their boards from Hoops King. And I can personally guarantee you that the logo that you customize on the website will look exactly the same way in person, if not better and they guarantee swift delivery so you'll have your new board within 10 days of ordering. The link to their website is in the description or just type in hoopsking.com. Now one of CeCe's most overlooked qualities is her speed and conditioning. When you see her in transition, she moves at a different pace than everybody else and she can sustain it throughout the entire game. And this is why Iowa leads the country in points per game is because when she has the ball in her hand, she puts pressure on the rim constantly. And Iowa's head coach, Lisa Bluter, recognizes this and just lets them play in transition as much as they want because this is when they're most efficient. And it's also fun to watch for the fans. There are very few people that play basketball that have the ability to push in transition and get straight to a layup when they want, but they also have the ability to come down and make a move like this and knock down a three off the bounce. And this is where I wanna highlight her passing. Her transition vision and ability to hit people on the run in stride is really impressive. She gets such a bad rap for being a ball hog and people say that she never passes it, but again, she leads the country in assists and it's because she has vision, anticipation, and in transition she is always looking for her teammates first and then if nobody's open, that's when she starts to create for herself. Now when it comes to the half court, Caitlin has a favorite move that she does almost every game. It is a one dribble step back going to her left. Now what's interesting is when she gets it in the triple threat, she likes to make her right foot her pivot foot, which is technically backwards for righties, but she does it so she can jab with that left foot and then get right into this move. Now the thing about this move that makes it so deadly is that she can get it off quick, but she also can shoot it heavily contested. And I'm going to assume that she works on this move a lot because it is hard to shoot this shot from as far away from the rim as she is, heavily contested, and make it as consistently as she does. And because she's so good at it, she also gets to the free throw line off of it because girls try and contest it and end up running into her and fouling her. And if you remember the buzzer beater that she hit against Michigan State that broke the internet, she used this exact move to do it. So now we're gonna go into the section where I break down her tells and her weaknesses. And what I mean by that is every basketball player has little things that they do that tip off the move they're going to do no matter how good you are. So Caitlin, if you ever see this, I hope you understand this isn't a knock on you. I would love the opportunity to work with you one day. 
So what we saw earlier in the video is she is really quick getting to her right hand. So if she goes right, she is trying to get all the way downhill to the rim, but she likes shooting it going to her left. So what you're gonna see is she baits her defender into thinking she wants to drive right, but the whole time she planned on coming back to shoot this three to the left. And she does this all the time, but it's so subtle and she's so smooth with it that it's hard to recognize if you're not paying attention. So when she gets this matchup, I would be willing to bet that she has made her decision right now. She doesn't want to have to drive the ball into traffic. She has enough space to shoot it. And so what she's going to do is this very subtle tempo dribble to her left hand to get it where she wants it. And then she knocks it down. And the reason it's recognizable is because most good shooters do this exact same thing. It is much easier to bring your shooting hand to the ball than to bring your guide hand to the ball. So if you're ever in a situation where you're guarding a shooter, as soon as they get that ball into their non-dominant hand, you have to be ready for a shot. So that's what I would consider a tell, something that makes her comfortable and she does repeatedly. This is what I would consider to be one of her weaknesses. When she's moving to her left in relation to the basket, she's one of the best there is at shooting it off the catch or off the dribble. And that makes sense because it's the same rhythm and tempo that she gets when she does her one dribble step back, but it also shows that she is really comfortable and efficient when she has to make a half turn, but she's not when she has to make a full turn. And what I mean by that is this. A full turn is when you're moving towards your dominant hand direction, so your shoulder has to turn further to get squared up with the rim. And you'll notice that Caitlin doesn't make or shoot as many of these as she does going to her non-dominant, and that's pretty typical for everybody, but it's definitely a weakness that she'll have to work on so that her game is complete. And that same thing applies to her when she's driving and getting to the rim. If you let her go to her right hand, you're pretty much done for. She's so quick and has the ability to get her left shoulder on you so that she can score through contact that as soon as she gets downhill to the paint, she's going to score the majority of the time. So even in situations where she's coming off of a ball screen like you see here, she's trying to snake back to the right so that she can get downhill to that hand. But when she's going to her left, it's a much different situation. She does doesn't have as quick of a first step to blow by her defender and she's usually going to find a way to spin or work her way back to her right hand because she doesn't want to have to shoot it with her left if she doesn't have to. And here are the two reasons I think that. Number one, she likes to get downhill to her left hand and then bump her defender with her lead shoulder so that she can still shoot it with her right rather than needing to score with her left hand. The other thing that I've noticed is she is much more willing to pass the ball when she drives to her left and dump it off rather than take the shot herself. And that could totally be speculation on my part, but for someone who scores 32 points a game, she has a wide open left hand layup right there and she chooses to dish it off to her teammate and I think it's because she doesn't like shooting it with her left. So then the question becomes, how do you slow her down if that's even possible? The first thing that I would tell you after watching her tape is you have to pressure the ball on every catch and force her to drive left to begin with. If you give her too much space, she's gonna shoot it, and if you let her drive right against pressure, she's gonna get downhill. So force her to drive left, and then you have to be physical and take away that step back. And you have to understand that if she drives right, she doesn't wanna pull up for three, she wants to get to the rim, or she's gonna dump it off. So the number one thing is eliminating as many rhythm threes as you possibly can. And you'll notice right here that Ohio State does a great job of taking away her airspace twice. They force her to get downhill and then they rotate over and do a great job contesting that right hand layup. And my guess is her response to this would be trying to bait you with that step back three to get you to press up into her so that she can get downhill to her right hand. Hey, I never said it was going to be easy, but you got to try something. Caitlin, thank you so much for what you've done for the game of basketball and how you've inspired little girls everywhere. I pray that you stay healthy the rest of your career and don't forget to enjoy the journey that you're on. Thanks for coming through. We'll see you next time in the film room.